Here in nature, plants and animals interact all the time, but it can be a lot more complicated than just one thing eating another. These relationships between two different organisms can be examples of what we call symbiosis. Symbiosis can be defined as any kind of a close, long-term biological interaction between two different organisms. These interactions can be mutualistic, commensalistic, or parasitic. Today, we're gonna to explore the incredible world of commensalism. This big web is the home of a female spider of the genus Nephila. In her web are BB-sized spiders called dewdrop spiders, gleaming silver droplets sprinkled about. Nephila could care less. She doesn't seem to notice them. The prey Nephila wants are the larger things that fly or jump into her web. The dewdrop, on the other hand, is there to grab the smaller prey that Nephila discards. It also likes to drink the drops of dew that collect on Nephila's silken lines. The two species of spiders are feeding at the same table, you might say. And that describes commensalism. Commensalism is a symbiosis in which members of one species gain benefits, while the other species is neither benefited nor harmed. In Costa Rica, army ants roam freely over the floor of the jungle, ravaging everything in their paths. Other insects either flee or are carried off for dinner at a later time. This is an opportunity that can't be passed up. Numerous species of birds, such as the wood creeper, have become specialists at following army ants just to catch the insects stirred up in the chaos. Once again, commensalism and symbiosis in action, building complexity and diversity into our world. The world is full of interesting examples of symbiosis. If you thought commensalism was fascinating, check out our other videos on mutualism and parasitism.